I like the carol, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. It talks about the birth of Jesus as a gift from heaven's all-gracious king. Heaven's all-gracious king. We don't have a king in the United States, but we're familiar with Queen Elizabeth, who celebrated her 60 years of reign, and she certainly looks like a gracious lady in her bearing. And there are many fairy tales where a gracious king or a mean king makes all the difference in the world. The land actually dries up and becomes barren under a mean and evil king. But we are so fortunate, and all of creation is so fortunate, that our God is a gracious king, providing for what we need, bringing the whole world life and sustaining that life. You know, when I think of king, I think, oh boy, richness, lots of money. The king should share every cent with me. I should be rich like the king. And you know what? I can be rich like this king. This king who was not afraid of poverty, who emptied himself but did not empty himself of grace. Heaven's all gracious king. In the Christmas carol, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, what does the word, the title of Jesus, Emmanuel, mean? John's Gospel points out that it means that Jesus comes and pitches his tent with us. Jesus is with us. And in his birth, just like when a baby comes home from the hospital, a child is with us day and night. And as they grow up, they become teenagers, they even fight with us. At some point, even though our children move on and come to have their own lives with someone else, they're still with us. We're always their parents, they're always our children, mom, or dad. And in this sense of with, Jesus is always with us. The great God who comes to us in flesh, in Jesus Christ, is with us forever. And our joy is that we live our lives with him. O come, O come, Emmanuel.